Hi folks and welcome back to the channel and today in the kitchen we're going to be making Viennese mince pies. Yep, yeah, it's that old time favourite for Christmas. Okay, it's a very simple recipe. If you've been here before, you may have already seen me making mince pies. And what I've done is I've added chapters to the video. So you can just press the button down below and jump from here to there. So if you've already seen the pastry being made, you can just jump onto the next bit and so forth. I think I've got, if I vaguely remember, I think it's four chapters or it could be three. And don't forget your recipe is in the description. And also you'll find numbers of playlists with more recipes waiting there for you. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe and please share. Anyway, we'll get right on with the video. And before we start our recipe, first thing you need to do guys is get our oven on. Now you want to preset your oven at around about 380 to 400 Fahrenheit, old school. Or if you've got a fan, it's assisted oven, you want to be around about 190 to 210 Celsius. Uh, for your recipe, you want 226 grams of plain flour, 14 grams of water, 28 grams of caster sugar, 56 grams of butter or margarine, 56 grams of white shortening. So the first things we want to do is put our caster sugar in with our water and give that a good stir around so it's sort of dissolved. And now we're going to add our fat into our flour. And all we're going to do is crumb this in so it's all nice and fine. So it's best to have your fat at room temperature. Now a nice little well in the middle. Now we're going to add our liquid in with our sugar. And you make this into a bit of a dough. Well, there's our pastry done. And what else do we need for the job? Yeah, a rolling pin, a knife, and a cutter. And obviously with the cutter, we need a tray. Now this is a tray, which we're gonna be using. It's a Yorkshire pudding tray. And the cutter does fit nicely in those little holes. And before we use the tray, it's important thing is to grease up your tin. So on my eBay store, I sell this prep spray. This is preparation spray for doing tins, trays, anything like that, bread tins. This is really good stuff. And once again, you get it off my eBay store. What we need to be doing now is rolling out your pastry. Put down some flour first. You don't want to get too much flour on the table, really. Now we're going to be rolling this down to about three millimetres thick. Put your knife under it. That's about right. And then all we do is just cut them out. And we place them onto our tray. And then we just gently push them into the middle. There you go. It's as simple as that. These are the shells I did earlier. As you can see, I stamped them out in the bakery because they've got that nice fluted edge around there. Obviously a little bit different to these ones. Not much in it, is it really? And for your Viennese, you want 170 grams of flour, 170 grams of block margarine, and 27 grams of caster sugar. So what we need next is our machine. First thing we need to do is put our bowl on. What we're going to be using today is a creamer. Put our fat in and our sugar. And we're now going to beat this up so it's all nice and light. The important 
part guys is to make sure that your butter and sugar is well creamed so when it's light it's right Right, it's ready now we're going to start adding in our flour so we're going to knock it onto first speed we only want to add in half the flour Once again, we're going to mix this up so it's nice and light. Now we're ready to add in the rest of the flour. Give this a quick blast on third speed. And that's it. Right, what we need now is our mince pie shells with some mince meat. I just want to say this, this is what I did earlier. Right, the main thing you need now is a piping bag. Now this is a Savoy bag, which I brought from work, or you can use a plastic type, which you can get off eBay or Amazon. So all we're gonna be doing now, filling up our bag with the Viennese mix and piping it on top of the mince pies. What about that guys? Little tiny bit left there. So if you want to make some Viennese fingers with what's left, fine, go for it. You've probably got enough here to do around about, what, I suppose 15 shells really, but it's as close as I could get. Right, now we're gonna go and pop these in the oven. Now they're gonna be baking in the oven for around about 15, 20 minutes give or take it depends on your oven my oven's totally different they could take 30 minutes in my oven but it's weird um, I got five different ovens and they all vary in the time it takes but one thing I would say to you is give it 10 minutes and turn it around in the oven and then you'll be right on the money and with a bit of luck they should be nice and golden brown and ready to come out in 20 minutes. Right, we'll get them into the oven. Right, our pies are ready. We'll get them out of the oven. And there we go, folks. It's as simple as that. Now, all we need to do with this now is take our icing sugar, put a bit of icing sugar in there, and all we do is ice the top. A little bit of icing on the top, that's it. Well, there you go, folks. Wasn't that nice and easy? 
I told you it would be. My recipes are easy, even for the Joe in the street who don't bake at all. I just make them so easy for you guys. Now, if you like this type of content, please subscribe and please share. And don't forget your recipe is in the description below the video. And don't forget my playlist down there with sheds and sheds more recipes for you guys. And we'll see you again very shortly in the Crazy Baker Kitchen on the Crazy Baker Channel. Laters! This is the Crazy Baker Channel. Baking. Lifestyle. Recipes. Reviews. I am the Crazy Baker. Please subscribe and please share. Laters!